Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Digilog collection series. Uh, in this video I want to talk about this beautiful Atari 2600 or Atari VCS. Um, this is a slightly older model, it has the six uh, switches but it's the light plastic one, not the, um, the original which is called the Heavy Sixers. Um, but anyway, I was playing on it uh, with my kids a few days ago, uh, we were switching games in and out and, and, and having a lot of fun and then eventually I had to reset one of the games and I pressed the reset switch, the game reset switch, a little bit too hard and the bottom, the bottom uh, of the switch actually uh, snapped. I assume this is because there's a lot of fatigue in the plastic and um, you know the console being about 40 years old and it eventually snapped. So um, you know I, this, it looks beautiful except for this, I want to fix it, I want to see if I can uh, glue this button back together um, and since I'm gonna do that, I took a look at the console, I haven't touched it in a while, it's a little bit dirty, so um, we'll, we'll try to clean it a little bit, um, see if we can glue this back and bring it to its, um, its, its beautiful, usable form. Alright, so um, before we, we glue this back, I should probably clean it first, just because, you know, when I clean it, I'm gonna keep moving it around and I, I want to let the glue a little bit to set, so we'll do that last. Um, the course actually is it's fine. It doesn't have any scratches or dents or uh, any external damages. The only thing that it has really is just a little bit dusty. And um, they have this design which is fairly common for the time with the horizontal stripes. And there's a lot of dust that goes in there, so it's sometimes uh, a little bit hard to clean. So I have my uh, Windex here and um, I'm gonna put that on a napkin. And we'll use a, um, a small uh, screwdriver. And we'll just run this over in all those grooves. And um, as you can see, it's it's um, very dirty. A lot of a lot of dust comes out. Um, the vertical parts too and we'll clean the top and careful around the bottom area careful the switches now that they know that they can break uh, we don't want to cause yet another uh, problem. Keep the power off. And we'll clean on the back too. It's a lot of a lot of dust comes out of this. So now let's uh, attempt to see if we can glue. So I have the, the spare uh, bit uh, here, and um, this is I'm gonna use uh, super glue for that. Uh, always read the instructions for the super glue. You never wanna glue your fingers together. All right, let's put this to the side. So I'm going to apply a little bit on the end of the uh, stick and I already checked what's the alignment for the switch. So we'll just apply a tiny drop should be enough. Put this back. All right, let's see. Hold this in place for about 15 to 30 seconds. I don't expect I should be able to 
use this switch properly as I don't think the glue is hard enough to hold uh, but at least um, uh, the console will look fine and uh, if we ever want to re reset the game we can always just use the um, the power switch on off to reset luckily it wasn't like the game select switch is much more important or the um, or the difficulty one All right, so it looks like it stays there. The instructions say to um, cure it for about 24 hours. So I'm not gonna touch it um, for that period of time, and we'll check it. Uh, I'll put it back in store in, in my, my shelves, and we'll check it back tomorrow. See if we can actually operate it. Thank you. All right, so we let this uh, rest for about 18 hours now. Um, it seems to be fine, um, it's staying in place, it doesn't seem to fall. Um, I apply slight pressure to it and it actually seems like it's moving the mechanism behind, so I think the glue is set quite well. However, um, I don't think I'm going to put too much pressure in it because, like I said, the surface area to put the glue was fairly small and it's likely it to break. However, it looks good again, uh, it is functional, and that's really what we want. So again, thank you for watching Digilog Collection uh, video. Um, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye!